Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Heart. And today, we are gonna be making and preserving pineapple jam. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. pineapple make some pineapple jam if you've never had pineapple jam it's so easy and you only need two ingredients pineapple sugar no pectin none of that needed that's it yeah so my pineapple if you notice is bright yellow I've had this pineapple for weeks it started off that greenish yellow and now it's completely yellow. And the reason why I let my pineapple get like this, this pineapple has this whole kitchen smelling like pineapple. <laughs> Once it gets like this, it becomes, I don't know, just so aromatic, so sweet, so juicy. And so I wait, I have to be patient. <laughs> and I wait until it's yellow, you know, just before it starts like, getting to the point where it's going to go bad <laughs> it's nice and yellow and this y'all makes for some sweet sweet pineapple and you don't have to add that much sugar really you don't remember in the grape jam the grape jam the grape jelly video where we had to add all that sugar nine cups of sugar that's a lot of sugar really you can reduce that to like eight or seven to base upon what you like right but this one don't call for all of that it's going to be equal parts pineapple to equal parts sugar and so i don't know what this is gonna how many cups this is gonna add up to be but if i get four cups of pineapple out of this then i'll add four cups of sugar so let's get started easy peasy let's do this Okay, now one thing I failed to mention, I'm gonna take the top of this off. In fact, I'm just gonna twist it off, okay? Just give it a twist in two different directions. Just give it a twist, okay? And this will come right off. Now this, woo, I'm gonna say this and um, I'm gonna peel all of these back and start me a nice little pineapple plant out of this. This is a nice little organic pineapple that I'm going to be starting my own from. So I'm going to hang on to this. If you want to see what I do with this, I'll do another little video to show you how I'm going to start my own pineapple plant. Let's get started. All right, y'all. So I really need gloves for this. Pineapple and I, although my taste buds love it, my hands do not. This thing will have my hands on fire. So I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can, okay? So now the first thing I'm going to do is just start cutting off the outside of this pineapple. So my camera went crazy when I started cutting this, but luckily I didn't go too far. So all I'm going to do is start to peel down to get the outside off. That's it. Y'all, this pine, I can't even explain how good this smells. Now, if you got one of those little core thingies, you can use one of those little things to actually where you go down into the center and just core it all the way out. But I had one and broke it. But this is fine. I can still do this. Now 
Okay. Cut out this bad part down here. Can't do nothing with it. All right, all them little pills right there. <laughs> they going in the compost pile. Okay, it's doing it again. I don't know what's going on with my camera. But uh, anyway, these little parts here that don't look so good, because like I said, I've had it for a while. I'm just taking those parts out, and I'm making sure that I get the eyes off of this pineapple as well, because these eyes are rough. You don't want that in your jam, okay? So I'm using my little knife, and I'm just cutting those down, cutting them off, moving them out the way. We don't want them eyes in there. I'm going to get all of that off. Yes, we are. Y'all can't see how juicy this pineapple is, but y'all, it is so juicy. It's just juice going everywhere. All over my cutting board. All right, and I'm going to turn this over, and I'm going to cut this. Move it all out the way. Cut this bottom off. Woo! And I'm going to cut it in half. See how easy that cuts down the middle, even with that core in the center? It still cuts so easy because I've had it. I'm going to cut on all sides of my core here. And you probably can't see it, but I see it. Cut that out. Now I can hold this straight up and down. Well, I don't have to. Cut that other piece of that core out. And all I'm left with is delicious pineapple. Now, now y'all. Okay. Anywho, let me get this in this jar. Now, yeah, this looks a little messy, and it is. <laughs> in fact, let me clean this up. <laughs> Okay, I done cleaned up my mess. Now I'm going to take this last little piece of core out of here. Yeah, because it is messy. I ain't going to look. But it's okay. It is quite all right. It's still going to be good. Let me just cut this off. Okay, I'm cutting this core off of here. This last little bit. And that's the core. I'm going to put that in my bag because I already got my little bag going. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start cutting it up. And I'm going to cut it up into some little chunks, right? I done finished getting all the eyes off. Now, it is a little bit more work when you are using fresh pineapple. It's a little bit more work. But it's so worth it, in my opinion. It's so worth it. Wait a minute. I think I got a core right there. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. So yeah, I think it is so worth it when you're doing it fresh. I'm not sure how many cups this is gonna be, but I'm gonna measure it and see. Just cut all of those up. It smells so tropical in here. Wait a minute. Okay, so I gotta try it. I gotta try it. This pineapple remind me of that song. If you like pina coladas <laughs> and getting caught in the rain. <laughs> I don't even know what go in a pina colada. <laughs> oh boy. Now we're going to finish getting these cut into chunks so we can get this stuff measured up. 
and see what's supposed to go, how much sugar we're gonna have to get in here. And then we'll know what we're doing next. All right, y'all. So I got my pineapples right here. I'm gonna get them in the bowl in my pot right there. And now I'm gonna get my sugar. And I'm gonna, I got five and a half cups of pineapple here, but I'm only gonna add five cups of sugar, okay? That's it. Equal parts, front basically. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. All right, now we're gonna take this over to the stove and get this to cooking. Now that I have my pot on the stove, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my hot my fire on hot, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this sugar in with my pineapple. Mm -hmm. going to start mashing my pineapple down okay if you got a food processor and I have one you can actually crush this up in your food processor or in a blender or something like that and then you can put it in with your sugar but I just put it all in the pot all right you all so what I have done is pulled out my immersion blender and I am going to just start blending this up a bit Not too much. All right. I think that's good. Can't get close to a plug. All right. So now, take this baby off. Medium heat. Oh, yeah. That's better. Come close. Cause I did cut those chunks. I did cut those chunks a little bit too big. So now look at this. So it's got some chunks in it, but not big giant chunks. So I got this on medium heat. This is gonna come up to a nice simmer, like a low, slow boil, okay? And that's what we want. We're not adding pectin to this, okay? Yeah, we're not gonna add pectin. We just added the sugar to that. Mm -hmm. That's going to be good. The person who gets the chunk out the jar going to love this. <laughs> Y'all can see that. So we're not going to stir this constantly. Because we want this to come up to a nice boil. So we're going to leave it and let it come up to a boil. And once it starts coming up to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat. And we're going to stir it slowly. And we're going to test it for the whole gelling process. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it smells good too, y'all. It smells so good. Look at that. Nice little simmer. Now we're going to stir it because we don't want it to stick. There. All right, y'all. So we let this boil like this on a medium heat. I let it boil like that for one minute, okay? One minute. And then after that one minute is up, I'm going to turn my heat down to just a low. 
So this can start simmering on a low heat, just a low, slow simmer, okay? And we're gonna let this hang out like this for 20 minutes. I'm gonna start me a timer for 20 minutes. All right, I've started my timer for 20 minutes. And I'm gonna come back every so often and stir this, okay? Every so often and stir. Now that foam on the top, if you don't like that foam, you could take that foam off. But the foam never stopped, um, has never prevented uh, my jars from looking good. And it surely ain't never prevented them from tasting good. But you can take that foam off and give it a stir. Okay? It's just like in other jams when they produce foam. Some people will add a little bit of butter, a little pat of butter to it to help with that foam. But I'm not going to add butter to my pineapple jam. <laughs> I'm going to just let it do its thing. Just let it simmer on a low heat like this for 20 minutes. When that timer goes off, and do y'all see? Look. Do y'all see how that's at a low, I mean, I'm really down on low here to let this kind of simmer, all right? And like I said, every so often, I'm not going to cover this completely, but every so often, I'm going to come back and stir this, okay? Every three or four minutes, <laughs> just to make sure it's not sticking or anything like that, I'm going to come back and just give it a quick little stir and move about, okay? So after 20 minutes or so, I'll be back and we'll see how this looks. We'll do a gel test, okay? All right, let's have a look at this. Oh, let me set that to the side. Now, you can see how it's just kind of a slow simmer, right? And I'm just gonna give this a stir. I have just under nine minutes to go. as this has been simmering on the stove for a little more than 10 minutes. All right, now look at this. Look at the consistency of this so far. Look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, I've given it a little stir. I'm going to get my lid put back on here. I have just under eight minutes left on my clock. I'm going to put my lid back on. And I'll bring y'all back when the timer goes off. This jam smells so good, y'all. I'm telling you. And it's such an easy recipe, right? Just the two ingredients. That is it. And if you even want to add a little cap full of lemon juice just for an extra flavor, you can do that too, okay? So y'all, I'll bring y'all back here in just over seven minutes. <laughs> okay, the timer has gone off. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna turn my fire off, take my lid off. Look at this. It's a good simmer right there. I want y'all to be able to see that. Look at there. That look good? All right, so this is done. Look at that. That looks delicious, y'all. Look at that. That looks so good. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get this funneled into our jars, okay? Okay, so I have my hot jam right here. I have my jars inside of my really big pot right here. Now, what I am doing with this pot, this is not a canning pot, but this is more like a roasting pot because I have a little rack in the bottom and everything. And because I'm using these little bitty jars, let me show them to you. These little eight ounce jam or jelly jars right here. These are the jars that I'm using. I didn't want to pull out my ginormous water bath canner for just a few jars of this little jam here. But if that's all you have, use what you have, okay? But I had, I just didn't want to do that. 
So I'm going to give this a stir. And then now I'm going to ladle this into my jars. And you can do the gel test to make sure that it will gel. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm confident. <laughs> I am pretty certain that this is going to gel just fine. And y'all, I'm only leaving a quarter of an inch head space with this, okay? Let me grab another jar. I'm, and I'm leaving this in the hot water, these jars, because I don't want these jars to cool down too quick because we are putting hot product inside of hot jars. So I'm going to go ahead, use my vinegar and water here to get my little lids my cleaned off. Ooh, that's hot. Make sure, oh, use the other side. Make sure we get those wiped off good. We don't want anything on these jars to prevent it from sealing, okay? Let me get that cleaned off nice and clean. All right, now I'm going to add one of my lids and one of my rings and get this back in the water. I have my fire on high already and I'm making sure that that water is covering the top of my jar, okay? It has to cover the top of your jar. Not really sure how many jars I'm going to get from that one pineapple. But some jars is better than no jars at all. Ain't that right? I'm going to take out another jar. And sit this to the side. All right. I'm going to wipe off my rim of my jar. I don't think Jax want Grizzly on the back porch. Jax don't like them on the back porch. He don't feel like he don't feel like no, no dog should be up there. Feel like that's his territory. All right. I keep telling y'all Jackson live, but he run the show. Look at that, y'all. Gorgeous pineapple jam. Let's get that in. I'm gonna take out another jar because I don't think I'm gonna need all these jars. So I'm going to sit that one right there and get this one filled. Awesome. Going to add just a tad bit more to that. All right. And you're going to do a, a quarter inch head space on your jam, okay? A quarter of an inch head space. That's nice and clean. I hope y'all find this recipe simple to do. You don't have to use fresh pineapple, okay? You can use a canned pineapple if you want. Like for example, the Dole uh, crushed pineapple, you can do that. You can use the tidbits, whichever one you wanna use. You can use the chunks. <laughs> Whatever you want to use, you can do the same thing. Just remember, it's going to be equal parts, okay? And if you do the pineapple in the uh, can, make sure you get the pineapple that's in its own juice and not in any kind of uh, syrup, okay? You don't want that syrup. All right, so it looks like from that one pineapple, I'm going to get about five, eight ounce jars of pineapple jam. This is jar number five right there, and I think that's all I'm going to be able to get out of it. I think that's going to be it. Take one of these jars out. I don't even think I need that water. <laughs> I 
Alrighty. Now whatever I have left is gonna go in the refrigerator. And I have just enough really for this jar here. Told ya. Just enough for that jar. Wipe off the rim. And grab a lid. Get it on there. And a band. Fingertip tight. And this is going in the canner. This is a water bath recipe, okay? I think what I'm going to do is put some, uh, add water to this jar and just put it down in the center so that it will take up the space in the center, even though there's nothing in it. I'm just going to put it in the center so it'll take up space, okay? And that way it'll keep my jars from falling over. So that's just water. I'm going to put that down in the center. And that'll just help to add a little bit of stability to what's in the pot. And I'm going to bring y'all a little bit closer, okay? All right, now that's what that looks like. And I don't know if you can see that rack that's down in the bottom. But I have a rack in the bottom. And the water is covering my jars. Now, this... When you water bath can, your water has to come to a rolling boil before you actually start your timer. So I got my oven, my heat on high. I'm going to put the lid on my pot. And once this comes to a rolling boil, I'm going to start my timer for five minutes. That's it. This will process for only five minutes minutes and then out of the canner they will come now while we are waiting look, grab a spoon this is what was left in the pot right here i'm going to show you this look at that look at that look at that delicious pineapple jam look at that no pectin needed right here this is really all right y'all we are boiling i'm gonna start my timer for five minutes we'll be back all right the timer has gone off i'm gonna turn this timer off turn this pot off <laughs> Woo! we'll take the lid off that's the good thing about water bath cannon. You don't have to wait for anything to come down from pressure. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get these out of the camera. All right, y'all. I'm going to take this empty jar out first. Just sit that to the side. All right, and we're going to get out our first jar. Pineapple jam. Sit that to the side. That is so awesome, y'all. That one pineapple has given us three eight-ounce jars of homemade pineapple jam. Let's have a look, y'all. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Mm-hmm. Don't they just make you say I want some pineapple jam? <laughs> I hope y'all found that simple, 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 easy to do. And I hope it motivates you to do it yourself. Whether you use a fresh pineapple and do it the way that I did it, <laughs> which takes a little extra time. But to me, it is so relaxing to come in here and do what I love to do. You know, so if you prefer fresh, that's fine. If you prefer can, 
that's your choice as well. You can do that. The one difference is if you decide to use those cans of pineapple with the pineapple juice, not the syrup, just the juice, you only need the juice from one of those cans, okay? Because that's a lot of liquid. So you only need the juice from one can. And then you'll drain the second. And whatever that measurement is, it's going to be equal parts pineapple and juice to, it's sealing already, <laughs> equal parts sugar to the amount of pineapple you have. That's it. It's simple. No pectin needed. This gels itself. So it's real simple. So again, I'm going to leave um, in the cards or perhaps in the description box a complete a link to the complete food preservation playlist that we have been doing here on the homestead. That we have been doing here on the homestead. But so don't forget you all give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you in the next video.